The week 24 update brings a few different things, but the biggest one is an entire new map named Styx. This new 64 kilometer map effectively doubles the size of Icarus's playable area. It will feature the familiar sites like the forest, arctic, and desert biomes, and it presents a new network of valleys and pathways to explore over 16 missions. Some of these missions will even affect the map and unlock pathways to areas providing new permanent shortcuts. But right now, the map is not officially implemented into the game. However, you can still play the map in beta testing. In order to access beta testing, you will need to find Icarus in your Steam library. Right click it and go to properties. And under the beta testing tab, you will need to enter the code sticks and stones all as one word. This will give access to the sticks public beta. Once selected, your game will need to update and then you will be able to play on the new map sticks. If you do decide to do this, note that you will not be able to use your existing characters due to this being a beta, but you will be able to revert back to the default game by switching off of Styx public beta and back to the none option. The Styx map will be officially available on May 27th. So now let's talk a little bit about the new wildlife that Styx has to offer. There are four new animals, the key, the Komodo dragon, the crocodile, and a new type of cave worm. The key is the first flying animal added into Icarus and poses no threat to the player although it will steal food that is left unguarded. The Komodo dragon is one of Icarus's new scavengers and will eat any bodies that are left behind by the player. The Komodo dragon is typically passive from what I've seen, but if you do get too close or attack them first, they will aggro. And if they bite you, there is a chance that they will inflict nausea. All around, I would say the Komodo dragon is similar to a less aggressive wolf that's a little slower and has a bit more health. The crocodile is an apex predator that will attack you on sight. As similar health to to a bear but moves much slower on land and faster in water. If you do run into a crocodile even with a level 1 character on land, you can move backwards away from it fast enough to not get hit. Crocodile has a very slow attack, so as long as you don't get caught in water, they should be fairly easy to deal with. And lastly for the new creatures is the cave worm. I did not encounter a cave worm in my time playing, but they are said to be an older version of the cave worms that we are familiar with that no longer require the protection that the cave provides and can wander farther outside. Not much is known about them right now, but if I had to guess in future updates, we will learn that they turn into sandworms in their adult stage. And as far as creatures on the new map, there's one more that's worth mentioning. There are jaguars that are roaming around the map, so just watch out for them as well. And now that you've made it this far, consider liking and subscribing. And if you missed last week's roaming bosses update, you can check that video out here. I'll see you next time.